Utility knives, Tajima. We are going to be comparing the Tajima versus the Ulfa today. And stay tuned till the end. We'll have the gear wrench underhood light winner announced at the end of this video. Hopefully I won't drag too long on this. Let's get on to it. All right, we all know Ulfa with the yellow design right here. They are the first to invent the snap off blade type since 1956 uh, they got the idea from breaking off chocolate bars very interesting let's take a look at this one first here you all know the uh, professional Ulfa here I chose to uh, get the dial one here it sits in a tray right there and it screws basically screws into that tray any position you want so that's how it works there it will end right there in the tray and you just unscrew it all the way back and replace the blade just like that. Very simple, no holder. Ulfa, very nice. They were the first to uh, create the rotary one as well. So rotary uh, ones are pretty cool as well. Very simple blade, nice grip on this one. That's it for the Ulfa for now. And this nice display is what caught my attention to the Tajima. I saw this at my local SAC fastener store, basically Fasteners Incorporated. They do have a website if you want to look them up, Fasteners Incorporated. They have a few Tajima items in their website, but uh, uh, their store has this whole display like this. Very nice. They're known for their tape measures. Um, they've been around since 1909, so um, these are they're fairly new on these. And I believe half of their tools are made in Japan. I believe maybe they're, they're a pull pull saws and a few other things and maybe their um, tape measures are Jap Japanese but th these are made in China this is the DFC 67 1NR1 and uh, yeah it's a long part number it is not in this catalog but uh, so I think it's it is very new so um, we'll take a look at this one this is some slide off deal right here almost lost you guys there pretty cool little uh, slide off feature here let's try the other one here pretty simple <laughs> slide has the uh, paint can opener snap off and this one has an actual holder in it let's check it out here all right so the holder is going to have some sharp blades on it so definitely use gloves to get to it very nice detent right there. Get you a nice shot there. Very, very, very uh, positive feedback there. You can easy to open with gloves. So definitely you're gonna handle these with gloves all the time. Comes with the fake ones. You're not gonna get cut right off the bat. So um, yeah, pull this open. Only holds two, so keep that in mind. So the grooves there will only let it hold two. So we put this back in, very easy, very fast, unscrew this guy, pull it out. So we got a little metal spring there that holds it in, just like the Ulfa, but the screw doesn't go all the way through like the Ulfa. So you can see the screw goes all the way through on the Ulfa, so a little better construction there. And yeah, there's the trough where the screw screws in, so you can screw it in at any point. Let's put the blade in. Similar to the Ulfa, just put the tab in, screw it on, and it's not gonna back out on you until you get it just to the right length. So, very easy to use. So this is the knob option. They do have the, the tab option as well. So I chose the knob option. And then yeah, break off your blades as you go. This section over here that locks not going to go anywhere. Very nice. Now the blades are the Rock Hard Black Blade LCB 65RB is the uh, case. 
So um, let's look at the case here. I'm thinking there is a disposal in there because it's quite big for holding 10 blades. Do you have to slice it open? I looked at it already. It's no, uh, there's no disposal in there. So just the uh, case here. You put it on the lanyard, but I don't know if this is gonna fall over time with the weight of all the blades. So keep that in mind. Eh, holds okay. So yeah, blades are also made in China. So this is the razor black blade, plain razor blade. Let's uh, compare the two now. Now the Ulfa is made in Japan, so keep that in mind. And uh, there's your difference right there. Pretty cool, you do have a longer section here that's thin. And here is the section here, it just comes to a point right there. Very nice, both have tether holes. Just this one's more simpler, no holder. And uh, there you go, let's start cutting. All right, so blades are pretty much the same. The black ones are gonna be your sharp option and the uh, regular ones are gonna be your, your um, hardness option. So hardness and sharpness, and this is a middle one with no snap off here for the Tajima. And same with their 18 and nine millimeters, kind of same concept there. And um, Ulfa, same thing. They have the HBB is the one we're gonna be using and the HB is their hardness one. But 25 millimeter is strong. So good all around size here. Let's start off with the Tajima here. Let's lock her in. Not gonna go anywhere. Let's take a slice of this foam first. No issue there. A little set there. Not bad. A slice with the uh, Ulfa. Nice and smooth action there. Dial it in right about here. Let's take another slice of that. Starts a little bit dull there. First slice was really smooth. All right, let's go back to the Tajima here. Okay. here pretty much the same let's get on to do some more testing all right let's move on to cardboard but uh, before we move on to cardboard let's get a fresh blade on there now always wear safety glasses before you do this let's see how easy these cut off simple as that you can see maybe there's a little bit of imperfection on the edge right there. And that clean snap off there. Let's snap off the Tajima. Pretty much the same. Notice on the cheaper ones, you do get uh, some that cut in and don't make a perfect cut there when it snaps off, it's a perfect snap. When it snaps off, yeah, very nice. So let's start off with the Tajima here. Do a couple slices and you can have it to the edge and have plenty of space right there for cutting, perfect. All right. Clean cut there. Let's just keep going on each one here. Pretty 
Nice. Not bad. Let's switch over to the Golfa. edge you get a little bit further there draws it in a little bit let's go right here dollar right in right there do a couple more cuts my refrigerator came in. It's getting dull again. Huh. See the edge right there. Hmm. Let's go back to the Tajima. too far into this very uh, comparable here your choice whether you want a large 25 or small 25 um, let's uh, look at this part real quick hmm looks like bacon <laughs> this is the uh, actual box to my mini fridge at the beginning of this video just bought it fresh so we have a nice fresh box to uh, cut this open with let's uh, Give this nice blade a shot and a break in. So, very nice. Already seeing wear on there. You're gonna have a lot of tape gunk on there. So you'll get buildup in there over the time. So um, what's nice about these is you don't damage what's inside when you open the package. Definitely an Amazon tool there. <laughs> so, complications like this sometimes at least you're not damaging whatever is inside so that's how it's gonna look like over time and uh, I guess that completes it so comment down below if uh, you find an Ulfa 25 with a paint lid box opener end on it and Ulfa if you're watching Definitely would like to have one on a 25 millimeter that's available. All right, let's try a paint can lid here. See how it does. Nice grip there. All right. Looks like some of the uh, paint's coming off there. Oh yeah. So keep that in mind. This coating comes off real quick. Not bad. And uh, I wanted to show the tape measures that they're known for here. This is the GS Lock series. Extra stiff, <laughs> strong tape and hook. So there you go right there. Armored case, safety rope, tether mount with ring and hook guard. Pretty cool. 16 foot or 25 foot. Let's see if I can get a good shot of what the uh, actual tape looks like there. They have pretty cool uh, safety belt holders. So their holder right there, you buy them separate or in a pack. Some kind of little uh, gizmo there to uh, lock her in with a safety belt. See, right 
there. Pretty nice safety rope. And they have two other models too. It's like the Z lock, the G plus. Looks like the same tape there, almost. On the tape side, we have the eight high lock and the G series here. Pretty cool. Plum bobs. Looks like uh, angle finders. It's a slant combination drywall rasp. Make uh, quite a bit of tools here. Drywall tools. More blades here. These are they're, uh, ones with the knobs in the middle for drywall. VR series. these blades so they're the model I currently have right here in this video is not in here this is the closest one right here it's a 25 millimeter with the knob and then that would be without the knob right there so this these might be their older models right here 18s and the 25s and a 9 check out the sharpness on that one pretty cool and we have a driver cutter. There's the uh, super hard tip on the end of that one for paint lids. So it's on the end of actual this one. So it's a driver and a cutter. That's pretty cool. And then we have the rock hard GRI, like with a better grip on it. Also available in slide lock and knob. Heavy duty GRI and precision craft GRI. We have the Looks like a regular type right here. And precision craft, all kinds. Very nice, you have uh, pull saws, lots of them. And I think they had a really nice aluminum weight. Can I skip a page? Yeah, this is Luminist. That is cool right there. Nice. All right, one last test. Let's break off a blade of each one real quick here. Always, again, wear safety glasses. Nice clean cut. There you go, on both. Let's do these real quick here. Maybe, uh, we'll stick this one out a little further. Get a nice slice on there. Oh yeah, easy. There's a cut right there. Let's try it uh, this way. Uh, this is how it will be on the box. Don't you hate when that happens? All right, let's switch off to the Tajima. Ow, almost cut myself. Yes, always wear gloves. <laughs> There's the cut on that. Pretty nice. Let's do one more. And let's do it this way. Man, these things are so annoying when they're on boxes. All right, pretty much the same thing. They do not like to shred when they're on boxes. Let's try it on cardboard. Get you guys more of a realistic environment here. There we go. Let's try it on that double section. That's too thick there. All right, back to the Ulfa. Let you guys decide. Hmm. 
There you go. That completes our blade face off here. Let's get on to the giveaway section and uh, yeah, awesome blades. Pretty cool. Check them out. I'll put links down below. Thanks for watching guys and on to the giveaway section. Alrighty folks, thanks for sticking till the end. It's time to pick a winner. Thank you for waiting this long and uh, definitely from this video, if you entered I'm in at the bottom and followed the pinned comment and the description down below, you have entered to win that video. So giveaway has been closed today and uh, it's time to pick one. And I will throw in this awesome Autobahn Dan sticker and you know me, always going to throw a bottle opener in, get the Quinn Harbor Freight bottle opener. Lifetime warranty, hardened steel construction, ergonomic grip, lanyard hole, with a pretty hefty warning on the back. <laughs> so I'll throw that in. And this is the only thing gear wrench I can find currently at home. And it is a little stick thing for your phone so you can stick your credit card in. Pretty cool. I'll throw that in as well. Let's pick a winner here. So we have 41 comments. There's the video up there. Uh, I'm not gonna filter out too much there, so I'll leave this as open as possible for the comments. Let's give it a try. Drum roll. Let's see who the winner is. Mark O Shark O. Mark O Sharker Shark O said, I'm in. Awesome. Never had a hood light before. It will work great on the summer night under the hood awesome right on mark comment down below in that video or this video wherever you want we'll get a hold of you and uh or my instagram <coughs> sorry um definitely we will keep in touch if not email me i put my email down in every video thanks for entering congrats mark and on to the next one guys sweet